All right, well, we just loaded up the 1.6 patch here. We're going to go ahead and check out some of the new changes. Um, one of the things right off the bat you'll see on the main screen is the little red circle up on your shop, and that's going to be showing you the new daily deals. Um, there's one for chests, special packs, and training packs. Um, the 1,000 food for 80 gems isn't a bad deal, especially if you're doing gem refreshes. Uh, the 2,000 training points for 200 gems is definitely a good deal because that's really probably the most valuable thing in these training packs. Um, as for the keeper chest or whatever, uh, it's not really that great of a get there for 100 gems. I would stay away from that one. Um, and then one of the biggest ads here is going to be the catacombs changes, um, which I have not checked out yet. The first thing we're going to do is the wizard tower. For those of us who have been stuck hanging out at the top floor of the wizard tower, we can now challenge the wizard himself, which I have not done before, so this will be my first look at this as well. Um... Usually in any wizard tower battles, I send in my big beefy heavy hitters, um, bring in the necromancer to debuff these guys. And, uh, dark defender, shell protection, vorpal sword, uh, fist of the dark one. There were some nerfs to the shaman, um, fortunately they weren't too extreme, uh, as, uh, 90% on his inner power here at level 8 before it's down to 80%, so it's a 10% drop there. Um, inherent speed, I want to say, dropped 5% or so. So also, that's not too bad at all. Um, one of the more sucky changes, unfortunately, is a cap on selling items. So all of you who have been following my farming methods that I posted, that's going to be a lot less efficient now. Um, probably still going to be the best way to get gold, unfortunately. Uh, but every item you sell is going to cap out at 1,000 gold maximum. Now, you can sell a bunch of stuff at once, so that's going to help. But let's go on and have a battle with the wizard himself. And there were some other changes I'll cover in other videos and whatnot. Um, they tweaked some skills on the Berserker. The Ninja Vanish has been changed, uh, basically taken away for the most part. Um, however, he got some decent buffs to his attack and defense. It's a little bit better than the War Master now in terms of base stats. Uh, but again, as I said before, with his skill cycling and decent weapons... He's still going to be a pretty viable character, at least for me, and I, I definitely wouldn't ignore him. And the wizard himself seems to be pretty mighty. Once we get rid of his buddies here, we might have to actually come back and use another ticket. Fortunately, most of us probably have 20 or 30 tickets by now. Um, now, I don't know if resetting this tower is going to change the three guys in front of him. Um... Probably not worth it. The combinations are going to be mostly the same, even if it does. And you can see here, even with the Necromancer debuff on this guy, he is barely taking any damage. His stats are through the roof. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring the Barbarian in here, I think, for the next run. And knock that defense down a little bit more. Uh, possibly even... Bring in the knight for the sunder, but I think the black guard's armor reduction is going to be just good enough. And we don't really want the damage loss of the knight. And I don't think he'll tank through many of those crazy hits from this dude. Uh, so I, I think this is going to take 5 to 10 tickets for most of us. Maybe even a few more. Um, buff teams are going to be good if you can outlast them. Uh, you probably are going to need strength of legend, dark defender, dread plate, that kind of gear. To really live through those big hits from him. But we'll go ahead and throw the Barbarian in here for probably Mr. Kensai, even though I love him. And her Balefield Glare has got such a low soul cost and 
cooldown that we're going to be able to pop that off quite a few times. Eleven hundred attack reduction. So this guy is pretty darn mighty. Uh, I want to say that's a third of his attack. So yeah, he's floating at three thousand plus attack rating, which is pretty extreme. Um, I don't think he heals himself or anything like that. At least not that I've seen. So that's very good. Um, true damage is going to be your friend in this fight. It looks like. That's another reason the Barbarian's pretty good, and I should might want to put Kensai back in for his perfect strike, because as we can see, the uh, Shaman and the Blackguard here aren't doing nearly what they are usually capable of. I would definitely recommend the Necromancer in this fight, though. Uh, unfortunately, ours just got nuked. And I'm sure over time people are going to figure out better ways to do this than what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of brute forcing it. Oh, that's a bummer. I hope to get that soul run off before he died there. But that doesn't seem to be too bad there, but two fights got him about halfway down. Um, as you can see, he keeps bringing recruits in, which could be a little bit of a pain. Um, bringing in the Archmage might help with that, with his Poison Cloud and his AoE skills to take those guys out. But as you can see, they seem to be pretty weak, so taking them out with the Shaman and a couple other quick hitters isn't bad. Another thing to note in the changes was a, uh, a little tiny change there to the Druid. They made the Entangle cooldown faster. So for those of you that are using the offensive build on your Druid, that's going to help you guys out a little bit. They also added aesthetic skins for your heroes. I didn't check those out yet. Um, they are graphical only. Um, looks like they're paid only right now. They might eventually come out in events and things like that. But if you want to make your heroes look fancy for a couple bucks, you can do that now. And I can't stress enough how awesome the Barbarian is in fights like this or anything where you have to worry about getting past a front line. Leaping Strike is just one of my favorite abilities in the game. The Templar also has it. Um... Of course, the Barbarians comes with the defense reduction from Baleful Glare as well. But it is an incredibly useful skill. Unfortunately, it looks like he smoked us a heck of a lot faster that time. It really seems like he wants to targo the target the Necromancer right away every time as well. Uh, we're three tickets in now, and he's about 75% health gone. So I think I might have been right. About five tickets should do the trick on this guy. And the rewards are pretty sizable. It's definitely worth the tickets and it's worth the time doing this. Um, and it'll kill off a wizard tower quest if we're stuck with one of those still. Although do keep in mind you can re-roll one quest a day to get rid of those things. And Ray of Enfeeblement there is, you can see, takes a ton of his stats down, but everywhere else, you know, PvP, PvE, if you have any troubles with things that you can't kill very easily, that is the way to go. Uh, Ray of Enfeeblement is probably the best debuff in the game. And you're definitely going to get your biggest damage off of this guy with the true damage. Um, I'm even curious if the archer and the ninja could do some better damage to this guy with their true damage skills. And 
of course, it's all dependent on what gear you have, how many stars, all that good stuff. Um, one of the reasons we're doing so little damage to him here is because his defense rating is so much higher than our attack rating. Which you start to see in PvP around the 43-44 range when you run into players that have Dreadplate and Strength of Legend and whatnot. And you're still running with older weapons and uh, lower star heroes eventually. You'll overcome that gap, but it takes a little while. Oh, come on, Blackguard, you can do it. Don't make us spend another ticket for one hit, but that looks like what we're going to do. And we're going to finish off these rewards here, so that'll be nice. And it's getting pretty late here, but I'm going to try and cover as much stuff with the new patch as I can uh, in the next day or two and help ease the transition for everybody and uh, cover all the little changes um, with any update. Things slip between the cracks. People don't really notice because they get caught up in the big things. Um, as I said at the beginning of the video, catacombs changes are probably going to be big for a lot of people. Uh, particularly the load times are going to make it possibly the best source of gold and resources for a while uh, with the cap on selling items but there we go we have defeated the wizard hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll catch you later